Sometimes you want to go where everybody knows your name. So I just now got back from a dinner with uh, some other members of Green School. We went over to the Olive Garden, which was really, really good. I am completely stuffed now, and I forgot just how expensive everything is. Um, Zach and I were going to go halvesies on some dessert, but uh, but like halfway through the meal, we both just kind of glanced over at each other and went, yeah, that's probably not a good idea because neither of us want digestional issues later. Um, I'll say it that way so it's not gross. But yeah, it was a really good time. Uh, and I actually forgot that we were doing that today, but Tristan and Ben were over. They slept over last night, and Tristan was like, oh, isn't that... Isn't the green school uh, dinner tonight? So I was like, oh, yeah, so it is. A lot of good jokes thrown around, a lot of stories that I didn't know about that were really funny. Um, it was, you know, you would have had to be there. I mean, that's kind of cliche and kind of stupid, but it was, it was just a really good time. You should really be careful with what you say past me because the comment that you made yesterday about yarmulkes could easily have been taken as offensive by someone. So you, you really need to work on uh, thinking through what you're going to say ahead of time. Um, but to answer your question, no, yarmulkes really haven't caught on as a big fashion trend. I mean, I don't think I have to explain anything else. But yes, uh, since you discovered discovered the free book pile outside the library, I have gotten quite a few uh, new ones. I mean, the most recent one I have is a memoir from a crew member uh, on set of The Life of Brian by Monty Python. Let me grab it, actually. I had it in the bathroom because it's, it's good to... Uh, read in extended periods. Um, so yeah, it's called uh, Monty Python's Tunisian Holiday, My Life with Brian, a memoir, and it's really, really good. Like, it's really well written. It's not too, not too technical. And if they use, the guy who wrote it, his name is Kim Howard Johnson, and if he uses like a, a um, technical term, like from the set, like sparks or grips, he explains what they are, so you're not just you know, not left confused. So that's a really good read. I'm not exactly sure why it was withdrawn. Uh, I'm not exactly sure why most of the books that I've gotten were withdrawn. But, um, yeah. To uh, sum it up, yarmulkes are not a big trend, except if you count the uh, Hebrews. And I have gotten quite a few more books. So, there you go.